It's a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom, so here we go. All right, time to go. Come on. Where are your shoes? Do you have your tote bag? Let's go. Here we go. Time for school. Everyone out. Everyone out. One, two, three. There we go. Everyone in. I have to get the baby in first. Wait, please. All right, here we go, Colton. Oh, you guys have so many toys in here. Uh, that's water. Yes, that is water. Yeah. yeah. It's cold. It's cold? Yeah. So I can get, you wanted to wear shorts, but I can get the car started as soon as everyone's buckled. I'm not cold, so I'm the pro. Oh, you're the pro. Hey, when I'm done putting my shoes on, I'm gonna close the door. Uh, you need to hurry, because we're late. Okay, so morning time is school time. We gotta get the kids to school. I usually just wake up and immediately have to get everyone ready. I don't wake up early. I should, but I don't. So I just wake up with just enough time to throw some clothes on and wake up the kids, where are you kids? And get them dressed for school. And then this little one here decides to do everything last minute. So here he is still putting his shoes on and we are late with seven minutes until school starts. So get your shoes on. Ah! All right, so we're at the school doing school drop off. And to be honest, it sucks so, so bad. I have to do after school intervention. Not how so I talk here we time. are trying to battle through the traffic and every morning once you're in here you're in the clear but then you have to wait to go around to drop them off it's horrible and the parking in the school is terrible you don't have to yell you know anyways i hope you guys have a good day at school thanks this is the start of our day thank you mommy i love you guys if I just cut the tape to a lot of cuss words right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and watch my news. Maybe by the time Wendy Williams comes on, that's when we'll start doing my cleaning, like picking up toys and sweeping. Cause then my coffee's kicked in a little more and I enjoy watching her while I do some cleaning because she takes my mind off of doing the cleaning. So what time is it now? It's 8.57. So yeah, it takes about an hour to drop my kids off, to get my coffee, and to kind of just, if I want to pop into Target and browse around, I do that in the first hour. And then by nine o'clock I'm home. And nine to 10, I'm just kind of relaxing and waking up. And then 10 o'clock, I'll start to clean. Um, by 11.30, We'll have lunch. My son will probably start asking me for food right now, so I'll give him a snack. But this morning he ate a peanut butter jelly sandwich before he went to take his brothers to school and so did his brothers. So they don't need to, he doesn't need to eat right now. He's already had breakfast, but he'll probably want a snack. And definitely by 11.30 he'll be hungry for lunch and I will too. And so I'll eat lunch and then I will go take a shower and get ready for the day. And then I have a couple hours left before um, I have to pick up my first child from school. He gets out an hour before everyone because kindergarten. And then um, we'll go back home and probably eat a snack before having to go back and pick up my oldest. And he's at school uh, 45 minutes later than everyone else. Uh, normal time today because he has a reading intervention program he's going to. So he has that after school program, so I need to wait for him. And then by the time um, he's done with, or by the time I'm home from everyone being picked up, it'll be time to start prepping for dinner probably. It's about four o'clock, but I go in there and everyone wants a snack, so I make a snack. And then 
I let them have a break and depending on what I'm doing, if I've already done what I'm doing for the day, I will also have a break and I'll lay down for a minute for about an hour before I start to think about dinner. Um, and I'll let them have a break too, but then after that hour, it's time to start homework, it's time to start dinner, it's time to clean up any messes that they've made within the hour of being home, it's time to maybe shut down the computers and everything if their homework is done, go outside and play for a little bit in the backyard. Um, yeah, my days I try to make as mellow as possible because that's how I thrive is minimal structure but just I mean there's structure but it's laid back the work is laid back so if I'm cleaning I clean what I decide is important that day I'm not gonna you know based off of what I think is important I'm not gonna get everything done I'm gonna get the most important thing done and to me that will make me calm and that'll be that. Um, the kids aren't going to be on a timed schedule when they come home. Like, okay, you have exactly one hour and then we shut it down. But usually the way we transition into things is usually um, about an hour, hour and a half. And then I decide, okay, they're, they're getting a little rambunctious. So it's time to bring the structure back. So then it's time to sit down and do some homework. I let them have as much leeway as possible within reason. As soon as they start acting crazy and not getting along, as soon as they start fighting, that's when I know I have to bring them back and give them something to do. Because if you can't handle your own time, uh, then I'll handle it for you. Uh, because you're not gonna make me go crazy, basically. So, that's that. Oh, and another reason they get time after school for uh, video games, TV, whatever, is because their youngest, their little brother, my youngest, their little brother, uh, is usually still asleep from his nap. He falls asleep in the car during pickup time. And then when we come back, he stays asleep for at least another hour, hour and a half. So that's why, again, I encourage them to do something quiet, which is usually Kindle or computer. Um, and that works for them too because then their little brother isn't yelling at them for using the computer, which happens often. So. Okay, so I lied. It's 9.22 and I had to start doing some cleaning because I just, I guess the coffee's kicking in. But I started a load of laundry and now I'm picking up the toys and the floors and clearing off the table so that I can wipe it down and start sweeping. And then I'll take a look at my budget and probably take a break after that and sit down and take a look at my budget for the next month or so. And then uh, I think that maybe today I'll make some pickles because I made pickles yesterday but I still have some more dill and I'm not 100% happy with how they turned out. So today I'm going to try to make some spicy pickles I've decided. Yeah, and that's the beauty of living life on the edge is that you could just decide. I'm going to make pickles today. Last minute and make some pickles. Boom! It's grass head. <laughs> so it's a it's a paper towel wrapped in a nylon with a rubber band. But on top of the paper towel underneath here, you put um, the like the easy grow grass and then you spray it with water and then wait until the grass grows guys look at that hair <laughs> and then you make a grass head a little man with hair isn't that cute oh my gosh sorry my band-aids are kind of gross oh my gosh look at that <laughs> isn't that cute 
cute? My son loves it. I love it. That was his school project. Science is cool. So during the day, I also try to get any important paperwork finished or any errands I need to run. So if I need to go to the post office, to mail something away, I would do that during this time in the morning. If I, for example, right now I have to fill out some paperwork to mail back for our insurance because we're changing insurance so they needed us to finish some steps. So I'm doing that right now to mail it off. Um, that's just things that I would typically do. I just gave myself a paper cut. Those are things that I would typically do during this time while the kids are at school and it's still the morning time. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. But I guess I just wanted to also say, like my days, I don't have um, like, what, what am I trying to say? I don't have a, a daily, schedule I kind of just have blocked time frames where I have things that uh, maybe like a list of to do's pop up in my mind and I know that okay these are things that I have to get done on this particular day and then these are things that I would like to get done and then I think about that in the morning and then I figure out okay if I'm gonna do this I need to do it in this time so that's basically my day. I don't have like meetings. I don't go to work. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I work at home. I, or you know, I, I side job at home. Um, I have my little one with me, so if he decides he wants to go do something, I'll go do something with him. Um, but otherwise, he kind of just helps me out during the day. And. Um, you want to play the game on the TV? Mario? Game. Mario? Yeah. Yeah, we could play that. Let me finish mailing this off and then I'll get you set up over there, okay? Anyway, so he interrupts me a lot throughout the day. So that's why I try to just wing it and get things done as I can. <laughs> He's taking my camera. <laughs> okay. Fine. Let's go get you set up. Come on. Let's go. I was able to clean the house. I got things uh, put away a little better. I was able to dust and all that good stuff. Where'd you put it? We gotta plug it in. Go. Mario game? Turn it on. You break it, daddy's gonna be mad. So put it down, bud, now. Oh. We're back at home now. I'm picking up this little one from kindergarten. And what do you wanna do? Video play a video game. He's ready for a break from school, which I will give him. This one did not fall asleep, but I think that one we go pick up. Big brother, the other big brother, but I think he'll fall asleep again. Right, Colton? Yeah. I think that's when he'll take his nap today. Yeah. And today's a little different because Big Brother gets off early. See, this is why I spend my whole morning in my pajamas, relaxing and enjoying the quiet house. Because as soon as this one gets home, it is just non-stop crazy town. So, we'll see, we'll see. God have mercy. So guys, your mom 
not making me a peanut butter jelly sandwich. And that's his video. There's this weird part of my day where I'm in limbo, just waiting, waiting, waiting. It, like, I have an hour before I pick up my son. What do I do? Just waiting. There's not really much I can start right now. I'm kind of ready to relax. But I can't relax yet because I still have someone to pick up. Ah, <sighs> limbo lost just drifting in limbo Ugh. hey so i just had a snack and now it's time for me to look at a mess that my child just made on my sweater while he was decorating his cookies and now he's smearing it with the bag and getting my things my things all dirty. These are important yeah. things, sweetie. Okay. Awesome. They're busy making special Halloween no. tombstone cookies and making a mess. The guy over there is eating his cookie and watching YouTube. And what are you doing after school? going crazy um, before it's time to make dinner. So I'm gonna go lay down and watch Netflix. Where are you? I'm driving right Driving where? Are you? Driving where? In my truck. Where? I don't know. I'm on the You don't know where you are? I don't see any signs. You drive every day and you don't see any signs, you don't know where you are? I don't know where I am right now. I'm around the end. So. Wow. So you're lying to me. What do you mean, wow? So you're lying to me. No, I'm not. You sound suspicious. I don't really sound suspicious. Your, your, your answers sound very suspicious. How was your day? I'm gonna take this one. That's good. Nothing. I'm waiting for yeah. I'm waiting for Bradley to be quiet so I can have a proper convo. But he, uh, he's, he's trying to pick a show. But you guys, I'm so tired. Uh, I'm so tired. I still have to make dinner and help with homework. And make banana breads before my bananas go completely bad. My husband's on his way home. Which means I have to get dinner started. Because he's going to be hungry. But I don't want to get out of bed. My son just put on Black Panther. And I just want to lay here and watch it. Oh, the day is hitting me. Pretty tired. This one's just a boy. <sighs> Started off strong. I'm out of energy. I better get up. When your almost three-year-old hasn't had a nap all day. Oh, Chaos. 
and your other son is tired from school and having a meltdown. Just trying to make banana bread and get dinner done. Where's my husband? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, that was a day in my life. Uh, but every day is different, so just remember that. That was just a day, that day in my life, not every day. Um, and I hope that if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up if your heart so desires to do so. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. I am a new channel, so stay tuned for what I have. Bye guys.